typical shonen fashion. Give us a very big hope and then splat. Killing off so many in just one dark turn, stopping everything good that is going on in it, hyping up the manga to even better things, but at the same time, <sighs> giving us so much despair that I am actually losing will. That's why makes Shonen Jumps uh, one of the most entertaining mangas to read. In the Boku no Hero chapter, as it seems the villains are uh, stuck, Shimura um, had uh, acid hands, has a mental breakdown, where he screams at the heroes how much he hates them. It's then we take into his um, past a little while. Apparently, all for one approached him, uh, or was it one for all? Uh, and because that boy was lonely, sitting in the floor, and was always wondering the hero's will. But uh, one, all for one, encouraged his bad behavior by saying like they won't come. So, in the way, one of the reasons why Acid Hands have never liked real-life humans, I mean, heroes, is because when he was an orphan, no heroes came to his rescue. Moreover, it's something about here that I'm, I think I'm misunderstanding, but at the same time, seem to be taking. Apparently, uh, Acid Hands' real name is Shimura Tenku. Shimura, which just happened to have been one of the names of the past user of One For All quirk. Are you telling me that uh, this boy is that very son? Or are you telling me it has something similar? Or are you saying that uh, they just have some similar names? Maybe I never really told about that. But as in this breakdown, the teacher unleashes Nomos through a black mist looking quirk that looks like acid and kidnaps Bakuga again. I think I now know what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna take away Bakuga's quirk and then force him to become... Well, not force him, saying that I can give you an even stronger one if you join my side. And so the heroes are overwhelmed. Moreover, Genists and his group are killed. Yeah, I'm not kidding. One for all, as the young heroes decides to retreat, seeing they may not be needed anymore, one for all shows himself, somehow. Last time we saw him, he was dressed in a nice suit and apparently had scars that were beyond creepy. But now, even though his stock is pretty low, he's, he can now levitate using telekinesis, and with that telekinesis, Blasts away best genists and uh, the giant girls mm. troop, effectively killing everyone because the text say he ki does. As the young kids are get drowned into despair and a, an enormous amount of fear, Deku uh, realizes just that that is one for all. A man who has apparently has a mist for a mask. Maybe hiding himself. So yeah, this is basically this chap chapter. In a way, I'm wondering... Uh, uh, are you saying uh, that that... I mean, I know I've heard their name before, but are you saying that... Could it very well be that Tomura Acid Hands names is similar to that other Tomura because uh, well what's that name because they are related I mean I thought he used his acid hands to miss to by mistakenly kill his own parents but it's clear that the reason why he hates uh, Hero so much is because no one came to save him in his darkest hours and the one who did that was one for all no wonder one one for all can turn him into a perfect puppet because he's the only one who ever loved him, or so, or so um, we think. I mean, if it turns out that Tomoro's acid hands really were related to that other guy, then uh, we will have some very deep trouble. Because he effectively raised the son of his enemy. 
So what's gonna happen now? Only despair. So give me your thoughts if you have any. All in all, I gotta say, quite an entrance.